Hey guys, it's First Map Drummer Mike again from Redfish Robotics. Uh, those of you that may have been following along on the FTC forum and on YouTube uh, saw that we were having some problems um, getting our encoders to work with the new Rev module. weren't really uh, sure what the problem was. So through our testing, um, we originally, uh, if you saw the video earlier, um, we had matrix 12-volt uh, motors on here from our old control system that we used uh, last year, and they were they were fine with the modern robotic system. Uh, it's these motors here. Thanks, Cameron. Um, and we went all the way to Worlds with those motors, so we don't think there's anything wrong with those motors. Um, but because we had built a drivetrain with the Andy Mark 40 to 1 motors, which are uh, hiding down in here, um, we decided to take that same encoder code. Um, and test it with the uh, with the Andy Mark Neverest motors, and um, the encoder code seemed to be fine. Uh, so we uh, we took a break. We got something to eat thanks to Robot Mom, and um, we came back. And the um, because the body uh, the diameter of the shell of the Andy Mark motors is bigger than our Actobotics channels. They wouldn't fit inside the channels, so we had to top mount them. Um, so we used two of the regular Andy Mark, I think, 31 millimeter mounts. Um, so now what we did, a little different from what it was before. Um, now this 80 tooth gear is actually permanently affixed to the channel. And these Andy Mark 60 to 1 motors um, with this 24 tooth gear, I believe, or 32 tooth gear are actually, as you'll see in a second, are actually driving around the outside of this gear. Um, and we appear to have plenty of torque now. Um, and then we just tied the two arms together so we can do a little demonstration. Um, so what Cameron's going to do is he's going to start the op mode and do the first lift. The first lift is intended to get our gripper just up off the ground. So go ahead and do that. And then he's, uh, so that's it, with this gear ratio, that's a hundred encoder clicks on the on the 61 motors, and then he's put in the three stops that we believe are are approximate of the six, twelve, and eighteen inches that we'd need to lift uh, glyphs into the crypt. So go ahead and run those three, and then twelve, and then that one for the eighteen, and then all the way back to zero. Uh, so it looks like we've we've got it. Uh, the next part is we're going to try to figure out how to attach our uh, gripper prototype uh, to the front of this. Um, and if you checked our YouTube channel, uh, we did a short uh, video last night showing the Mechanum drivetrain working. So uh, we're making pretty good progress for the first couple weeks, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks.